What's going on YouTube is your boy Xander Wayne here with another Xander Interjection episode. Um, apologies for getting this video out to you guys so late. Time just kind of got away with me this weekend. Uh, it was a pretty beast weekend. Um, we had a belt promotion at my karate school. So um, I was busy um, dealing with that and trying to get that ready to go. But, you know, luckily it's Sunday. I have some time so I'm trying to knock these videos out. Um, today's video, I want to talk about something that I'm surprised myself I haven't chimed in on as of late, and, um, I know it's been a debate that's been going on for years, but I've just never really, really jumped in on it for whatever reason whatsoever, and that, of course, is the subject of Goku versus Superman. Let me just go on record to say that I'm a big fan of Superman very big fan, you know, I've enjoyed most of his movies, I mean, I did enjoy Superman Returns for a bit, but after a while, I was like, hey, this is Superman stalker mode, Man of Steel, I thoroughly enjoyed, I know a lot of people didn't like Man of Steel, but I thought it was a pretty good move, I think Zack Snyder did a pretty good job of reviving Superman back to life, therefore giving us the DC Cinematic Universe, <laughs> anyone who's known me for a long period of time knows how much of a DBZ fanboy I am. DBZ was my heart and soul from like the beginning of high school all the way up until actually up until now. I'm still a DBZ fanboy. Um, I started watching the Freezer Saga when it started coming on Cartoon Network. Um, I think the one saga that I watched from beginning to end was the Android Saga because that was on Cartoon Network, so I jumped in fully. Um, you can ask any of my friends back in high school. I had a whole bunch of Dragon Ball Z button-up shirts. I don't know if you guys remember when those button-up shirts were very popular where they had anime characters on there, you know, Superman, Batman, DC characters, Marvel characters. Those were like the popular shirts back in um back when I was in um high school. Um in fact when I was living in Florida at the time there was a, there was a store called Animation that sold all that type of stuff. Um uh unfortunately I gave away my um Dragon Ball Z button up shirts. Um I gave them to one of the students at my karate school because um at the time I was transitioning to just you know trying to do more adult things. So I gave those away. Um, I think about it now. I probably should have held on to them, you know, just for nostalgia purposes. But it is what it is. Um, in any case, as I said, I am a big DBZ fanboy. The biggest one that you probably you could ever meet. You know, I will still watch it to this day. You know, I've played the games. You know, I have every box set. I mean, the orange brick box set. I have those. Um, soon I'm going to be transitioning over to the DVZ, uh, the D, the Blu-ray, excuse me, the Blu-ray box sets. I'm going to be transitioning over to those real soon as well. So, most people, most people who are intelligent can pretty much understand and realize that Goku and Superman are almost one and the same. They're both the most powerful characters in their universes. They both exceed many people's expectations they both fight for truth and justice they're both pure-hearted warriors you know so it was only a matter of time before superman and batman met on a battlefield screw attack has already produced two death battles with goku versus superman and as we all know if you haven't checked them out do it right now stop this video go check them out right now but as many of you who've already seen the videos already know Goku lost twice. Okay, he's lost to Superman twice. The first death battle with Goku versus Superman, I thoroughly enjoyed. It was a long, hard fought battle. You know, he went from Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, say Super Saiyan 4. And, you know, he just, you know, him and Superman went toe to toe, even destroying Earth in the process. Whoops. But, of course, Superman came out the victor. And then, I was shocked, but I wasn't shocked that Death Battle was coming up with a rematch of Goku vs. Superman, but I figured it would make sense since now, Super, uh, since now Goku has reached Super Saiyan God level, and now he's gone to Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, 
So I think it was only a matter of time that Goku and Superman met again. But of course, as we all know, it was met with the same result. Superman was declared the victor, even going as far as pretty much vaporizing his brain from the inside with his heat vision, which I thought was... I thought it was... Uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I thought it was a weak, weak victory. <laughs> I mean, the first fight was grand. The second fight was rather short. You know, so... I mean, him... go um, Superman walking through that Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Kamehameha wave. I'm like, really? I mean, I know Superman is powerful, but it's the Kamehameha wave we're talking about here. At least rip up his clothes or his cape or something, has some kind of marks, but nope, he just walked through it, snatched his hand up, grabbed him by the throat, and vaporized his whole brain schematic. It is what it is. Um, my thoughts on it, now, now granted, Screw Attack did, um, did the best explanation that they possibly could to explain why <laughs> Superman is practically unbeatable. I mean, and anyone who's anyone, especially in the geek or nerd kingdom, you know Superman, you know, is, was meant to be the most powerful entity in the universe. Is He's been written that way since he was created. He's been created to be the most powerful being on the planet, you know. I think the gripe that a lot of people have with Goku losing is the simple fact that, you know, it's Goku. He's been training in the martial arts, you know, his entire life. You know, he, like Superman, is from a different planet, you know, and his, you know, his physiology is made up so that every time he dies or comes near death, he comes back a lot stronger than he was before. You know, the argument from Screw Attack is that Goku there are limits to Goku that he can seek to break, but Superman has no limits to his power. That, to me, is debatable. You know, I know there's been many different versions of Superman. There's, you know, the uh, pre-crisis Superman, post-crisis Superman, you know, Golden Age Superman, Silver Age Superman, New 52 Superman, you know. If any of you are reading the comments right now, then most of you should probably know at this point that Superman is actually depowered. He doesn't have his powers anymore. Um, but he just he just rocks a Superman shirt, some jeans, and he's still fighting crime. So he's basically like Batman now, but just without the skill. But he's lost his powers. But Bef prior to that, he had gained a new power, which is called the, uh, you know what? I forget what it's called, but so I'm just gonna call it what it is. It's a damn solar flare. Okay, they took from DBZ, and they basically gave him the solar flare which is an emission of every solar molecule or every solar energy that he absorbs throughout his time and he just gives it off as one big solar blast. Now, many of you know the downside to that is that it leaves him powerless for 24 hours. So he becomes vulnerable. Now, I understand Screw Attack has been catching a lot of scrutiny. Um with the way they with the way they do these death battles um most people would say that they're very biased with certain characters mainly anime characters because I guess they don't really take the time out to understand and fully research how skilled and powerful these anime characters are you know they just stick with mainly what they know best which I guess is a DC and a Marvel characters you know everybody's entitled to you know, their own thing, so, I mean, it's, it is what it is, but I will say this, I think, I, 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 I'm inclined to say that Goku wouldn't go down so easy, I mean, you're talking about a guy who's taken on pretty much the landlord from hell, Frieza, this is a guy who can exist in space, you know, he he's technically immortal, in, in, in a sense, you know, um, he can he can transform into different you know levels and stuff like that. And um, as of as of recently, he has a, he has a gold transformation now. So I've yet to see Resurrection of F. Um, I still I may go buy tickets to go check it out. I know it's supposed to be coming out in the movie theater, so I may go see it. Um, you know, so I mean, he's taking on Frieza. He's taking on Perfect Cell. I mean, here's a guy who. 
He was an android, biomechanically created by a mad scientist doctor, comprised of all the cells of every single warrior that has ever came to Earth and did combat with Goku and the other sea fighters. And everybody seems to forget Goku quit that fight. He realized that he, there was no way he was going to beat Cell, at least at his current power level. So he bowed out and he left it up to his son Gohan to finish the match, realizing that Gohan had the power to defeat Cell. No, no, and everyone has to remember, even that was a challenge for a point, because while Gohan did have the power, he also gained a high degree of arrogance. And when Cell self-destructed and came back in its super perfect form, it was almost to the point where had Gohan not found the strength and the courage from his father to continue, Cell would have destroyed the whole planet, destroyed the whole universe. He said it himself, that his destiny is to be the universe's end. It's pretty cut and dry right there. And then you have, you know, Majin Buu. You know, for all intents and purposes, is immortal. You know, he can change shape. He can morph things. He has magical powers, magical abilities. You know, Goku defeated him with a spirit bomb. He was later reincarnated to Oob. You know, but there you go. You know, this is this is a guy who hasn't really killed a lot of, you know, the villains in the DBZ universe, but he's fought against all of them. You know, Superman, for the most part, you know, he's done battle with a lot of villains and stuff. You know, everyone likes to point out that Doomsday was the one who killed him, you know, but I think people forget that Doomsday didn't technically kill him. You know, he just knocked him into a state where it seems like he was dead. Hence why the whole, you know, reign of the Superman, you know, death of Superman storyline, you had, you know, the Eradicator, you know, Superboy, Man of Steel, and Cyborg Superman, and all that other stuff. You know, there's that. But, you know, my, 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 in my humblest opinion, I think with, I think given the right amount of prep time, possibly, Superman could probably take a defeat from Goku. Um... I know, I know in the last video, I know Goku vs. Superman 2, they pretty much explained that Superman has no limits. He's meant to be a god living amongst men. You know, if you want to look at it that way, Goku's kind of the same way too. Hell, Vegeta's the same way. He thought himself a god for the most part. You know, it's um, any person with an extraordinary power, you know, especially multiple powers... You can always you can almost consider them to be a god living amongst mortals. That's just how it is. Look at Thor. Thor's powers are based in Norse mythology. You know, he wields a magical hammer called Mjolnir. Um, he lives in Asgard. You know, he's almost the same thing too. You know, you get, but you know, as we all know, Superman is susceptible to um, magical you know attacks. So. Is, it is not, it's not very known who would win between Goku and Thor. We just don't know yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure Screw Attack has done it already. I'm not too sure. I just got to go back and check it out. But the, basically, the way I see it, at the end of the day, Goku, given the right amount of prep time, not training time, prep time, you know, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking like Batman here. I'm thinking, if, with, given with a good amount of prep time, he could give Superman a run for his money. You know, they say that Superman's abilities have no, have no limits. You know, I think that kind of gotten proven wrong. You know, granted, it's, not, it's a different iteration of Superman going on right now in um, the comic books, but given the ability of a solar blast, you know, that eventually leaves you powerless for 24 hours. You know, then, then not to mention the fact that he still has a weakness to magic and kryptonite. You know, so there's things you got to look at right there. I mean, as far as it stands, Goku's weaknesses are needles, his wife, and being too trusting. You know, those are those are his weaknesses. Um, and nothing external. Yes, yes. Granted, Goku can be killed. You know, given you know the right attack he can be killed he is mortal but you know what are you gonna do um 
I, I looked at um, I looked at everyone's reaction. I looked at all the reaction videos to Goku versus Superman too. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people weren't surprised that Superman took that victory. I had an inclination that he was going to win too because he won the first round. So I don't, th I didn't think there's going to be anything too different, you know, the second time around. Um, I just think that there is a little bias and favoritism being played towards Superman. Um, I think a lot of people don't give Goku his credit. You know, here's a guy who's died a few times, has reached heights and power levels that, you know, a lot of the other characters haven't reached yet. You know, so I just think that it would be nice if they show a fight where Goku actually wins and how he would do it. Actually, I'm actually I'm gonna put this out there right now. Bat in the Sun. I love you guys. I'm subscribed subscribe to your channel. I love your superpower beatdown videos. Those are the greatest things I've ever seen in my life. You do one. I want you guys to do a Goku versus Superman battle. You know, you could do a live action. You can make it real live. And and since you guys are good with doing one person winning and then doing an alternate ending where the other person wins, I think it's a win-win for both Goku fanboys and Superman fanboys. I suggest you guys make it happen. Um, I know, I don't know what your next, you know, superpower beatdown is going to be, but just, you know, just get one. Get a Goku versus Superman uh, superpower beatdown going. Trust me, I think everyone will enjoy it. Everyone. Um, all in all, I'm still a Goku fanboy. I'm still a Superman fanboy. Um, there was a period of time where I didn't like Superman. I just thought he was too powerful. I, rem I remember this was back when Lois and Clark was on TV. And at that time, I wasn't really feeling Superman that much. I remember watching an episode. I'm saying, why does Superman always stand like Because you know how Superman always stands with his arms crossed and stuff. You know, my sister pointed out, like, you know, because he's powerful. He's showing he has nothing to worry about. You know, I mean, I over the years, I've grown to, you know, appreciate Superman because they've humanized him some more. You know, things like Smallville and Man of Steel and, you know, Lois and Clark too. You know, Superman, the animated series, Justice League, all the animated movies that's come out, they've humanized him some more. So it makes it, you know, it makes me more appreciative of, you know, the way the Superman character was written. You know, but as I said, at the end of the day, it, it, I think in all honesty, it could come to a draw. Because, I mean, let's, 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 let's say, for argument's sake, let's say it was Vegeta against Superman. Now, we all know Vegeta is not as strong as Goku is, but he is a better tactician. He is a better... Yeah, he's a better tactician. He's a much more strategic fighter. You know, he knows when to increase his power and when not to. Not to mention, this guy's the same prince. You know, he's a warder. All he's done is fight. You know, fight as a soldier, not as a, uh, you know, not like as just a straight martial arts warrior like Goku. I usually like to tell people that Vegeta is Goku's General Zod at this point. You know, Superman has General Zod. Goku has Vegeta. That's kind of my, pretty much how it goes. Um, I I would like to see I would like to see School Attack's Death Battle do like a what is it? I guess they call it a round robin. You know, just have Goku pit it, just no, just have Superman pit it against a whole bunch of different characters. You know, anime characters like Perfect Cell. I like to see him go up against Perfect Cell, or even Majin Buu, or even Frieza. You know, I like to see him challenge other different you know characters from different universes to see how he would fare. You know, you know they say Goku. I mean Superman versus Sentry, Superman versus Thor. You know, there's always people are always debating in a nerd universe whether. This character or that character can beat Superman. And, I mean, let's be real. If people from his own universe could defeat him, I mean, not kill him, but defeat him, then what's not to say any other character from another universe couldn't defeat him either? Anyway, um, that's my opinion on the whole Goku versus Superman, you know, fight, debate, argument, whatever you want to call it. I don't think it's going to die down anytime soon because there's always going to be fans that I believe that Goku could easily get Superman given the right circumstance. Superman, I understand that he has no limits, but he is vulnerable to things. 
So there's always things to consider. As a martial artist, there's always someone out there better than you. They are studying your strengths. They are studying your weaknesses. So they can pick up on a few things and go from there. As always, like, share, subscribe to my channel. Whatever your opinions are about Goku vs. Superman, put them in the comment section below. Uh, let, them know, let the world know what you think. Do you think you know, Superman has Goku's number every single time they meet up? Or do you think there's room for an upset? Do you think that Goku, given the right amount of prep time and understanding of who he's going up against, could he take out Superman? Let the world know. And thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, there's a couple more videos coming along, coming along this afternoon, so stay tuned. Peace.